say that King's Cross is just a state of mind, but others know that it is an actual physical place. It's the traffic junction between Victoria Street and Darlinghurst Road. So I'm standing here on Butler's stairs, and this is one of two sets of stairs that were actually built in the 1870s to connect Potts Point with Woolloomooloo Bay. These stairs are really emblematic of some of the social divides that are represented in this area. Up in the 19th century, Potts Point was very much a um, well-to-do suburb, whereas Woolloomooloo has always been working class. So King's Cross, 1920s and 30s, it's all about bohemianism and art deco and entertainment. Apartment buildings are rising and so are the entertainment venues. Behind me is the Roosevelt Club. Now, it was established by Sammy Lee, a promoter, and bringing in jazz and whatever, and was the favourite nightclub of American soldiers on R&R in World War II. And next to it, we've got the Minerva Theatre, uh, a wonderful building now called the Metro. And it was built as a live uh, theatre venue and operated through the 1940s and 50s. And um, later on, it became quite the place to be, 1969. The musical Hair is brought to Sydney by Harry M. Miller. And it operates out of here for two years. It's now called the Empire Hotel, but it was once Lay Girls the all-male review that provided upmarket cabaret and risque drag queens. This was the place also that later became called the Carousel Club and that was where Juanita Nielsen was last seen in that fateful day in 1975 when she disappeared. Gardens and the El Alamein Fountain, which is behind me, are symbolic of the King's Cross area. But in fact, the gardens sort of date back to a much earlier time. They were actually created by the City Council in 1945, um, after they purchased an old mansion, Marimana. King's Cross in this area, in fact, has been a site for celebrations since the 1930s for New Year's Eve. So from the 30s up until the early 1980s, King's Cross was the place to be. 40,000 people plus used to converge on this area to celebrate and watch 